We are going to finish up the wobble series we've done really, really important. So I'm gonna do it again so you guys really get it down. It's pretty easy, there's only three, um, but grab your wobble cushion if you have one at home. If not, you can follow along without everything you can do without a wobble as well. So for the first three, we are going to be seated. You're gonna be wanna be on a chair and you're gonna scoot the wobble cushion to the front of the chair. We are doing three exercises for your spine. The three ways that your spine move are lateral flexion, flexion extension, and rotation. So those consist of the three um, spine wobble series. Like I already said, I've shown you once the, once before, but they're super, super important to do every single day, ideally morning and night. When you wake up in the morning, before you go to bed, very good for your spine. And of course, anytime you're gonna get adjusted. So the first one we'll do is rotation. So we're gonna be rotating our spine, our entire spine from our pelvis all the way up to the top of our spine up here rotates one way, I'm going to the left and then to the right. So you notice I'm picking up my hip to get more of the rotation involved. So you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Any popping or cracking is okay. If you hear that, do not worry. Rotate your spine all the way through. We like to get at least 20 to 30 reps of these in each time. So we're gonna keep going, 20 to 30 reps, as slow or as fast as you want. And it should feel really, really good. Helps with any stiffness, any arthritis, anything like that. Very good, feel good with that one. Moving on to the next, we will do lateral flexion so we're just gonna scoot one side so i'm gonna i'm gonna flex my spine making it into a c on this right side picking up this right hip and involving my neck and then i'm going to flex all the way down the left side picking up the left hip flexing all the way on this side and then this side and back and forth and back and forth Again, any popping or cracking is okay. If you have any major discomforts, probably wanna let somebody know. Call your chiropractor. Good, we wanna do 15 to 20 of this one. Sorry, um, 20 to 30 of this one at least. Good job. Okay, when you feel nice and loosey-goosey, you'll move on to the next one, so the next one's flexion extension. We are gonna make sure that wobble cushion is scooted right to the edge of your chair, and you, I will turn to the side so you can see. We are going to be flexing all the way in, involving the top of my spine, all the way scooping the pelvis, and then extending everything back from the pelvis all the way up to the top opening everything up, closing, opening, closing, opening. Go this way so you can see. Good. This one is the best one in my opinion, but a lot of people forget about their neck, so they just do like this, which is good, but you wanna get your little neck involved too. Especially with the extension, so think about it. So especially with the extension, think about it. We type all day, we're on our phones all day, we're driving all day. So our phone, our heads are coming forward. So that extension part is super important to help open up everything. So let's do a couple more. 20 to 30 of each exercise. And then we'll move on to the core portion. Okay, you guys, very good. Remember, those are your spinal wobbles. There's three parts, side to side, 
rotation, closed and open. I'm trying to think, it's flexion extension. Call it whatever you want. I call it flexion extension. Um, so those three wobbles every day, morning and night, 20 to 30 of those, so very important for your spine. Moving right along, hi Callie. We are going to get rid of our chair. So we'll get rid of that chair and we're getting down on the ground. So on your yoga mat, remember if you have a wobble cushion at home, this part goes on hardwood floor, very, very slippery. So that's why you want a mat or a rug or a nice carpet flooring. You're gonna put that wobble cushion down on the floor. I'm gonna go from an angle. I tried these moves out earlier and I think it's easier um, to do them from an angle. So that's what I'll, I'll move if I need to, but for now I'm just gonna be working with this angle. So first one is the half roll up. Legs are like this, so knees bent and kicked out in front of you. Feet flat on the floor. I am going to bend my arm 90 degrees and put my palm on the floor. Or I guess I'm not 90 degrees anymore, I'm fully extended, 180. Putting my palms on the floor for support. Balancing the tushy on the wobble. I am going to, when I feel balanced, because this is wobbly, when I feel balanced, I'm gonna bring my arms up. And all, of, all this is doing is we're just gonna tilt back until your core has to engage and then come back up. So it's a pretty small window of, of movement, tilting back and coming up. You can do this without a wobble if you don't have a wobble at home, but this is called the half roll up. So you're rolling back, engaging that core, squeezing, and then coming up. So if you remember, um, we're just gonna take a break for, for a minute and I'm just gonna tell you, tell you about the wobbles, how the wobble was work. So there's two different ways that you can attack the wobbles. You can either hold a position for a longer time, 30 seconds, that's gonna work on your balance. If you wanna work on the strength portion, you're gonna do quicker repetitions like this. I am going to do the repetition movement, so we're gonna do 15 reps three times. Two, three, but just want you guys to know there's also a balance option, so you can balance. And you should really feel it in your core by now. I mean, I can already feel it in my core, so if you can't, something's wrong. Okay, that's 15, we'll do three more reps. You can do as many reps as you want. Try and get at least, obviously at least one, but if you can do um, three reps, that would be great. Or if you wanna go for the balance, you'll just hold back for 30 seconds. Do that three times. We'll do another rep. Coming up, come down, come up. Feet are on the floor. It's the wobble cushion that makes it, uh, makes you unstable. So that's what activates your core. Very good. Okay, 15, we've got one more rep of 15 and then we'll move on to the next one. Good job guys. And more. Okay, good job. Now moving on to the next, we're gonna do the V hold. So this one's a little bit tricky. If you guys have a wobble at home, it's underneath you on the tushy. Um, so basically this is kind of the opposite of the one we just did. So the one that we just did, we moved our upper torso. This one, we're going to plant Hands stay planted, feet are gonna be in motion. So how do we do this again? I gotta remember. So you're, you pick your feet up, your feet are bent 90 degrees flat on the floor. Pick them up so they're an inch off the floor. You're going to extend and bend, extend and bend. And I'm kind of running into the wall here, so let me come on less of an angle. 
extend and bend, extend and bend. That's the motion. Remember, if you want to just work on your balance, you will hold the extension, squeeze that core. It's really hard to stay balanced. I need my hands. Squeeze that core, work on your balance. But we're doing the strength portion, so we're gonna come in for quicker reps. We'll do 15 reps three times. Good, that is one rep. We'll take a little breather and then we'll do another rep. Okay, ready? Hands flat on the floor. Wobble cushion under the tushy. Legs bent at 90 degrees, feet flat on the floor. Pick those feet up. Extend your legs, bend your legs. Extend your legs, bend your legs. Squeezing at the core. I keep running into the wall. Let me come here. There we go. Extend, bend. Extend, bend. Good job. 15 times. Good. That's two reps. We're almost done. Very, very good. Very, very good. Okay, ready? One more rep. We can do it. Feet or hands flat on the floor. Wobble cushion under the tushy. Legs bent at 90 degrees. Feet on the floor. Pick the feet up. Extend, bend. Extend, bend. Extend, bend. Good job. Ten more. Good job, you guys. One more exercise, and then the core series is done, so it's just three motions. Uh, leg reach. Leg reach. So this one is another lower body leg one. Hands are in the same position. And this is kind of like a bicycle. Remember the bicycle, which I love? And you're bringing your legs in. This is a bicycle on the wobble. So put that wobble on a floor carpeted rug or yoga mat, not hardwood. Excuse the phone call coming through. We'll go to voicemail in a bit. Hands flat, palms flat on the floor. And you are going to put the tushy under the wobble. Make sure the pelvis is tucked, so neutral spine. And we are going to extend one leg, bend the other one, extend, bend, extend, bend. If you want to work on balance, you'll just keep one extended. And these hands, you really are not working these, hand, these arms. These are just for balance. So hold them. You can go to your elbows if you need to. I might go to my elbows for this. If you have any wrist issues, you'd want to be on your elbows. So if you're working on your core, I'm sorry, your balance, then you're just going to hold one leg for a longer time extended, squeezing the core, and then switch. We're doing strength, so we're going like this for 10 more. First rep, and we'll do two more reps after this. Very good. So these are just balance. They are not doing any work. All the work is done on the core. Good. Very, very good. Almost done. I'm gonna scoot closer. I feel like I'm far away. Okay, ready? Two more reps. Extend, bend, alternating legs. Squeezing the core. for 15 reps, very good. And then we come up, we take a little break. And then we have one more rep and that is the end of our wobble series. So let's finish strong, hands are, palms are flat on the ground or you're on your elbows, tushy, uh, tushy on the wobble cushion. And we are going to bicycle our legs, squeezing our core. Very, very good. So this wobble cushion adds that instability, which is gonna force you to activate your core. That's why it's really good core work. Awesome, 15 reps. Very good, so we are done. And that concludes 
I am just looking at everybody watching. Hello, everybody. Um, so that concludes our wobble series. This is a wobble cushion. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, you can get them on Amazon or from my office. They are so good for your whole body, especially your spine. That's why I wanted to highlight um, the wobble series because of all the benefits it has for your spine. That's why I did the spine movements again for you guys to see. So um, we did legs the first week, arms last week, and then this week we finished with good old core. Nothing like core work. So um, the other videos should be saved. You should be able to find them pretty easily um, in our workout Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any more questions, if, if you want more wobble stuff, we've got tons of wobble exercises. Um, so just reach out to me. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday and I will see you guys next Wednesday for a special Thanksgiving edition. Have an awesome rest of your week. Finish. Bye, Facebook.